Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Harry Camacho and today I'm behind the camera so because I wanted to show you something uh, that I just got in the mail yesterday which I think it's awesome. I saw it in somebody else's channel and I think it's one of the best things uh, that this community of the DIY 18650 or 21700 batteries or the DIY battery community uh, should know. Uh, we are talking about this little device that I have right here. Let me see if I can focus on that one. That right there, it's a spot welder that I bought on Amazon. It's not that big. And it basically works more or less like the K-Well uh, PCB spot welder. Uh, of course, it's somewhat different, but it's a lot, way more cheaper than the k will meaning that i got this for less than 25 bucks and i actually have two of them uh, let me just show you the second one the device comes with a bunch of cables which i'm not using right now i rather use my own cables because it comes with i think it's cable number 10 10 awg but i'm using cable 8 to actually make my welds and this is the actual device right here. It has six MOSFET, MOSFETs, 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 which uh, this thing looks and feels really well designed and really well put together. So this is why I'm, you know, trying to do a quick video to show you how this thing works, how great it is. As you can see, this is a safety feature it turned off by itself. Right now it was on when I started recording. Now it's off, which is something that I quite like right now. I do like it. And I was making this battery uh, as a spare battery. This is 7S, 7P, close to 900 watts. The cells are uh, lithium 21700. Uh, I think it's are this one bought them from I got them on um, battery hookup really nice cells my big battery it's made out of those and so these are the batteries that you know they were laying around and I wanted to make an extra battery because after Hurricane Fiona hit us I spent like two days without no sun at all and it's easier to recharge a 7s battery using this power supply that I got here that goes up to 30 volts and 30 amps. It's easier to use it with my car and recharge this battery. But, you know, I didn't want to spend time putting together a kit or something like that. And since there's a lot of need in the community right now and around the island and now around Florida and Cuba, that, you know, I'd rather make a video of how to buy, how to get one of those pretty inexpensive uh, PCB spot welders and make your own batteries using nickel and stuff like that. Let me just show you really quick right here. These are the marks that I get from the spot weld. This is super solid. I already did some tests on these things and if you try to rip this part, it will take everything with it. And it's going to rip the nickel, which is something that I really like. The settings that I have right here on the spot welder, this is where you turn it on. This two settings basically tells the bore the size of your battery. This battery that I have right here, it's a lead acid battery, 350 CCA amps, um, CCA basically. I used to have a 250 and I went up 350 because I, even though it did work with my old battery, I wanted something with, that could probably pack a bigger punch and it would be easier to, you know, make these batteries. So now that I have these settings, let me just go back. This 
one right here, this is basically the delay or the timing or the amount of power that the board is going to allow to do the weld. And let me just get back here. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Let me try to do some test weld for you guys because I was almost done with this battery and I remember that I wanted to make a video. So let me just cover this part right here so I could avoid any shorts. Let me get a piece of nickel that I already have. And you will see how cool and how easy to use is this thing. Basically, what it does, it detects a circuit. It detects when the whole circuit is closed. And as soon as I put this one down, it's going to place my well. Just like that. Check this out. I'm using my cell phone, so I'm sorry that it doesn't look as professional. But check that out. That thing right there. It's not going anywhere. It feels solid. I already did a bunch of tests of them. Super solid. It is difficult to weld nickel on top of nickel if you don't have the right amount of power. And this device, it's, it just, it does the job. And I really like it. Let me just do another one for you guys. Oh my God. I feel clumsy. Right here. Let me do another one for you right here. Like I said, this battery is 7S, 7P. It's going to be a backup battery that I'm building for myself. Just like that. That's how beautiful and how easy it is to put together a battery. And, you know, I could probably do a DIY kit again, but, you know, like I said, we are going back to basics. Not every single person likes to work with a spot welder or any other, you know, method. But I feel that in these situations, when there's an emergency, this is the fastest way to actually build a battery if you have access to the materials and stuff like that. There you go. This is how incredible it looks. Check the difference between the marks that I was having with my old spot welder and check the difference now how clean that looks. Now, one of the reasons that I wanted to use this type of device is that this right here these are the batteries that we're getting ready to use to help people in puerto rico after hurricane fiona uh, these batteries they are already being pre-selected and pre-charged to full bolts to do then the other type of testing that we do we are not doing a full uh, cycle of them we are not doing a capacity test we have other ways to, you know, go around and check if the battery is good enough to be used. Because if I do capacity testing on them, I will never get to anyone. Um, so right now we're going to do uh, as many layers of security as we can provide and safety without doing the whole capacity thing. Because we're not building big batteries. Uh, we're building, you know batteries that can turn on lights leds small fans and stuff like that and one of the reasons that i wanted to do a spot well like this one is because i already tested the spot welder with this type of wire this right here it's 32 gauge wire let me just see if i can focus right here and this thing is super thin it, it has no cover, no silicone on top of it. It's naked wire. 
and it's a really good boss wire this is called boss wire i'm going to put the links on the description with this you could do the fusing if you want to go uh and fuse every single cell into a main boss bar meaning that when it gets time to build batteries with recycled batteries we are going to use the spot welder with a 32 gauge wire to put an extra layer of safety into the batteries hope you guys like it uh, i really love and enjoy this this battery is almost done now we're going to do the main boss bar and the main for the positive and the negative and then we're going to charge the battery put the bms and be done with it this battery uh like i said if i didn't use something like that i would probably use just my my kits and it would take a little bit longer and you know when you are in an emergency you don't have time so technically this just saved my day i'm going to put the links on the description for this thing the bus wire and remember we are still looking for help uh we are still trying to get help so we can send some help. Let me just rephrase that. Uh, this is unedited, uncut. We are still need help from you guys. So we can build batteries like this and like this. So we can send help to the people in Puerto Rico that are still today, 10 days, some of them 11 and some of them 12 days without any power, no energy. I know there's a lot of struggles in the Caribbean now. As right now, I'm recording this video, and Florida is getting hit by a hurricane that it's basically the same as Maria, but the only difference is that you know Florida has a barely uh, strong and and and, and fast uh, how to call that uh, emergency respondents. So here in Puerto Rico, we don't have that. So if you feel like you want to send some help. Please do so. There's going to be links in the description so you can send your help through PayPal or through if you live in Puerto Rico and you have at the action mobile, there's going to be information there. I'm going to be really grateful if you do. There's a person that sent me some money. I want to say thank you. I don't like mentioning names. Maybe they don't want to or they feel uncomfortable, but the money that you sent me, it's being put to good cost. As you can see, we got some part of the materials. We got some part of the cells so we're getting ready to put batteries together and this is going to help a lot and that's why we got two of them so when one of them screws up or blows up or gets too hot we get another one so please send us some help pray for puerto rico pray for cuba and pray for florida god bless you guys and i'll see you the next time take care bye